show you how we work with the jaw. Um, I've shown her how to do uh, some work uh, on the muscles in the mouth, so we'll kind of let you guys see that. Hey everybody, uh, do you have any jaw pain, clicking, popping? Does it get locked, you know, particularly in when opened or closed? Uh, Ariel here, she came to us, I don't know what, two, two months? Ago, more than that, three, three months, okay. And she was having a lot of issues with her jaw, really quite a bit of pain trying to open it, and it was clicking and popping. So we went through a couple different things. I worked with her um, jaw itself. We worked with the neck. She also struggled with some uh, headaches and migraines. Uh, those have been better, but she's been changing her diet. Uh, following a, a book that helps to reduce inflammation uh, that's still kind of hit or miss had some good success but we had a migraine last week so oh, we're working on trying to come up with the solutions migraines can be a little tricky that way so first I'm going to show you how we work with the jaw um, I've shown her how to do uh, some work uh, on the muscles in the mouth so we'll kind of let you guys see that uh, but anyway uh, let's get started. So let me have you uh, scooch up and uh, lay on your back for me. All right. So go ahead and open your mouth and close and open. Good and close. So as I work with her mouth here and her jaw, the uh, masseter muscle, uh, it's a big guy for closing the jaw. Good, and close. Go up here and open. Good, and close. And open over here above the jaw a little bit. You have your temporalis. If you uh, put your hands on your the sides of your eyes here and you bite down, you can feel that muscle engage, so that's that's right where we're working. All right, go ahead again. Good and close. I don't know if you guys can tell, but since even the first go, you're opening your mouth a lot more. <laughs> Quick and easy, I like it. Um, oh, another piece of the puzzle. She went. She's been waiting on a dentist appointment. Finally went for that. Was told she didn't have wisdom teeth, but in reality she does, and they're coming in sideways, so um, she'll get those taken out. Hopefully that'll help a good bit with the uh, with the jaw issues. So, Miss Ariel, here is a glove, maybe. Maybe you. No. All right. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna work inside the cheek, outside the teeth, but all the way to the back of the jaw, all right? It's not super fun, but she just gets all the way back there and you just kind of <laughs> massage the muscle a little bit. This one, in a sense, it's not comfortable. Sometimes you can tear up a little bit, um, but it's, I'd like to say it's kind of closely related, mm -hmm. so it's involuntary tears. Uh, but you do three or five passes on each side, and it usually does a really nice job of helping you be able to open up the mouth a little bit more. This is your pterygoid muscle. Uh, big heavy hitter with opening and closing the mouth. Okay? Sweet. Yeah, so there we go. A little, little wincy. Go ahead. Yep, pull that off inside out. Wonderful. All right. Now let's work. Muscles up under the skull here. You know, she's done a lot to pay attention to her posture at work. Um, exercises kind of reinforcing better posture. Um, it's been, what, three weeks since I've seen you, though? It's been a while. Maybe a little more. A little bit more. So she was doing good for a while, but maybe we just pushed it a little bit, maybe a week longer, and then two weeks longer. Yeah. But that's all right. She's out living her life. We're not coming in here three times a week all the time, so it's good. Turn left. Good, and back. Good. 
Alright, arms will crisscross in front. Breathe in and out. One more. And out. Good. Alright, come on upright. Swing your legs around this way. Work a couple of the muscles here in this neck and shoulder area. It's a little tense, a little tight here, my friend. Okay, let's look about 45 degrees this way. Good. Look up to the ceiling and down to the ground, letting that chin drop down towards your chest. Perfect. Good. And back up. And down. So, I mean, as with eating, talking, chewing gum, all these things, and up in their repetitive motion. So, for her, the jaw kind of muscles themselves became a problem. Here, we're looking at these posture muscles where if you're working in a repetitive environment, um, it's a lot of us, you got to help open up these muscles, get them moving again, get the blood flowing. That's what's number one important is blood flow because blood carries the oxygen. So I think that's about all we got for today. Thanks for tuning in and give us a shot. If you got any issues with your jaw, we're happy to help in whatever way we can. All right. Have a great day.